Creative Maths brings you Maths Made Really Clear with Dr Nick. Adding Fractions to Preparation. Expressing Fractions with a Common Denominator. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. This video builds on the video Adding Fractions 1, Overview and Adding. The overview introduced three steps to adding fractions. Preparation, Operation, Presentation. In the preparation step, we check that the fractions have the same unit or denominator, and if not, we change their units so that they are the same, ready to add. That is the topic of this video. In the operation step, we add the fractions with common denominators. We will also do that. In the presentation step, we put the answer into its simplest form. This makes it easier to recognise. This will be covered in a separate video. Check in the description below for links to more videos and resources to help you with fractions. Preparation – Expressing Fractions with a Common Denominator When two fractions have a common denominator, it means that they are expressed in the same unit. The thing is, when you add two things together, they need to be the same thing or have the same units or denominator. In the examples we did in the previous video, the denominators were the same for both fractions. We could add two-fifths and one-fifth because both numbers were expressed as fifths. But to add something like one-half and two-thirds, where the denominators are different, we will need to change how the fractions are expressed without changing their values. We need to find equivalent fractions with a common denominator. Some fractions are more compatible. One-half can be expressed as two-quarters, it can be expressed as three-sixths, or four-eighths, or five-tenths, or six-twelfths but it is difficult to express one-half in terms of thirds. Similarly, two-thirds can be expressed as four-sixths. Two-thirds can be expressed as six-ninths or eight-twelfths, but we have trouble expressing two-thirds in terms of halves. We need to find a denominator that is compatible to both halves and thirds. It's like the half speaks French and the two-thirds speaks Māori. They cannot talk to each other in their own languages. They need to find a common language to talk to each other. Here are different ways that one half and two thirds can be expressed. What denominators will work for them to talk to each other? They can use sixths or twelfths. It is simpler if you use the lowest common denominator, in this case the sixths, but it will still work if you use a different common denominator. Finding a common denominator means that the fractions are speaking the same language. One half plus two thirds can be expressed as three sixths plus four sixths. The two fractions are now ready to add as they've been expressed with a common denominator. They have the same units. We can move on to the operation step three six plus four six equals seven six. Now that you've seen why we need to prepare the fractions, we will go through the actual process. Check. Check if the denominators are the same. If they are, we can proceed right away to adding the fractions. Choose. Choose a denominator compatible to both fractions. Convert. Express each fraction using the common denominator. Three fifths plus one fifth. Three fifths and one fifth have the same units fifths. They both have five as a denominator. We can add three fifths plus one fifth equals four fifths. One third plus four fifths. Ah, the denominators are not the same. We will need to choose a denominator that will work for both fractions. We will work through some examples now to show the process. One third plus four fifths. One third and four fifths have different denominators. Thirds are compatible with sixths and ninths and twelfths, fifteenths, eighteenths. Fifths are compatible with tenths, fifteenths, twentieths, twenty-fifths, etc. We are just going along the times table. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The first number that appears in the 3 times table and 5 times table is 15. They will not be in the same column. One method to find a common denominator that always works is to multiply the two denominators. In this case, 3 times 5 equals 15. That number is guaranteed to be compatible to both fractions. You'll see later why you might not want to do that all the time though. We choose 15 as a common denominator. We need to convert each of the two fractions to equivalent fractions using the common denominator. To convert thirds to fifteenths, we say, what do we need to multiply three by to get fifteen? The answer is five. We have multiplied the bottom by five. 
To keep the amount the same, we need to multiply the top by the same amount, 5. You can see in the bar diagram that 5 fifteenths is the same quantity as 1 third. 1 third and 5 fifteenths are equivalent fractions. They are different ways of expressing the same quantity. How many 5's in 15? There are 3 5's in 15. To convert 5's to 15's, we multiplied the bottom by 3. To keep the amount the same, we also need to multiply the top by 3. You can see in the bar diagram that 12 fifteenths is the same quantity as 4 fifths. 12 fifteenths and 4 fifths are equivalent fractions. 1 third plus 4 fifths equals 5 fifteenths plus 12 fifteenths. That is the end of step 1. Both fractions have the same denominator ready for step 2. You can see the working here. Pause to make sure you understand each of the steps. Now we can add 5 fifteenths plus 12 fifteenths equals 17 fifteenths. Excellent! We will leave the answer in this raw form for now. We'll do another example. In this example only one fraction will need to change. 1 fifth plus 3 tenths. You can see that 1 fifth and 3 tenths do not have the same unit. Fifths are compatible with tenths, fifteenths, twentieths. Tenths are compatible with twentieths, thirtieths, fortieths. We can see that fifths are compatible with tenths and twentieths and so on, so we can use ten or twenty as the common denominator. We choose ten for our common denominator. Now we need to express the two fractions using the common denominator. How many fives in ten? There are two fives in ten. To convert fifths to tenths we multiply the bottom by two. To keep the amount the same we also need to multiply the top by two. You can see in the bar diagram that two tenths is the same quantity as one fifth. The 3 tenths is already in tenths, so we can leave it as it is. Sometimes only one of the fractions needs to change. That is the end of the preparation step. Both fractions have the same denominator ready for adding. You can see the working here. Pause to make sure you understand each of the steps. Now we add 2 tenths plus 3 tenths equals 5 tenths. Yay! I find that examples really help to consolidate learning. For more examples and practice exercises, see the companion video Adding Fractions to P. This video explained the preparation aspect of adding fractions. The next video explains the tidying up step. Check in the description below for a link to the next video and other videos and resources. This video was brought to you by Creative Maths. Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help to make these videos possible.